Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys and it's going to be kind of like a try on video and I'm going to be showing you guys what my closet jacket essentials are. So I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite jackets and what I think most people would need. Um, I do understand everyone has different styles but some of the stuff that I'm showing could kind of go uh, for someone that just likes style all around so it's various different looks. So I'm going to talk to you guys about each jacket very quickly and I will show clips of me trying it on as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So my most favorite 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 item essential that in my closet is a leather jacket like honestly a leather jacket goes with everything i got this one at forever 21 so this is how it looks on i love the fit it's perfect fit i think the best leather jackets are the moto style they're so flattering and they literally go with everything i wear the crap out of this one so you definitely need one you can find one of these anywhere essential for me would be a camel jacket now i really like a camel jacket because i kind of feel like it adds a little street style to it um, it goes with a lot of different things. It could dress up an all black outfit like very nicely. So I really like this jacket. This jacket I've had for a couple years now. I don't remember where I got it. I want to say Suzy's Deals. It was a little store that was like really cheap. And I believe this jacket was $10 which is a good steal because I love it. I love the wash of it. But you can find camel jackets anywhere. They just add so much street style and you can dress it up and I just feel like everyone needs one of these in their closets. Another jacket I want to talk to you guys about briefly as well is this one right here. It's an acid wash boyfriend type of style. So I really like this one because the wash is really nice. Um, it's kind of faded here and this is a really nice touch because it just adds edginess to an outfit and denim jackets you guys are essential a bunch of denim jackets this is like a boyfriend overfit now I got this one at mutual attractions I love the acid wash I feel like it's perfect and I love that it's oversized kind of like if you were wearing your boyfriend's jacket and you can wear it off the shoulder it's so cute if you guys have seen my haul you guys my most recent haul you'll probably see this in there so this is a long line denim jacket I really like the wash of this one it's like a true denim color it's really pretty and it has distress on it as well so it's really cute and it's long and what I like about this one is that it's really fitted and it just looks really 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 nice and I don't know you can find denim jackets everywhere and the long line theme is kind of coming in and I really like it because it, it very just makes it very grungy and kind of like like a little boyish I, I guess you can say not boyish but it just adds a little extra to your outfit. You guys, I'm just like obsessed with this color of denim. I feel like it looks expensive. It looks like a Levi's jacket, but I actually got this one at Mutual Attractions. I believe it was $36.99. And I just feel like everyone needs a long line one for that like effortless kind of outfits with some docks or something. It would be such a good look. So I really love this one. Another denim jacket that's my favorite is this one right here. It's one of my favorites. It's still kind of a work in progress. But I'll just explain to you guys. So I got this one at the thrift store. And it's just a regular basic one I got from New York and Company. Off the thrift store. And I added these patches to it. And little skulls and like pins and stuff. This is all stuff I found at the thrift store. And of course it has my really red hot chili peppers patches here. And it has a rose patch which are my favorite ones. I am going to be making another one. I want to make a little bit more of a bigger one i want to find a nicer bigger one and add more patches to it and really be my like my go-to jacket because this one's a little crop so that's the only thing i don't like about it but this is a dark denim and it's really nice so i think everyone needs a dark denim as well so this is one of my favorite ones just because the patches are custom like personal patches that i found and collected so i'm going to be working on another one just because i said this one i don't really like it crop but i love this wash it just looks so nice so it's definitely a need in my closet now this is another one I found. I found this one at the thrift store as well and it's a light denim jacket and it looks like this. I really like the wash of this one. It looks very used and worn in and it's just a really light blue color and it's a little dirty and worn in but I like that because that's the kind of jackets I like when they're a little worn in and stuff. I just like so as you can see it has some few stains and stuff like that but I still love it. I think the wash and the color reminds me of like 90s vintage so this is why I really like it. I feel like light just helps lighten up a whole outfit so it's a really nice color at the little kids section at the thrift store. And another denim jacket which I think you guys should own is um, a white one. Now I know a lot of people are scared of white denim jackets but I really like this one. Um, I like that it's oversized and it has a little bit of distress here so it makes it really really cute and yeah I really like this one. 
and denim white jackets are a little bit hard to find so when you see one score and also I feel like it always looks better when you cuff the sleeves I got this black one and I got this one from Walmart this was also on a recent haul now I don't have an all black one that's distressed I feel like that's the one that I'm missing in my collection so this is what I have so far but I think for sure you definitely need a black denim jacket so I really love the fit of this one. This is one's in a large and the wash is just so pretty like how it fades into the gray and I especially love the collar again with a little bit of a 70s vibe. I just really love this jacket a lot. It's my go to. And then the last denim jacket I have for you guys as a suggestion is this one right here and it has the fur lining. Now what I really like about this one is that it gives like a 70s feel. It's really cute and it's actually warm so this one I also found at the thrift store. I'm not sure what size this one is but I really love the fit. It's just a relaxed fit and I love the contrast of the denim and the fur. It's just perfect and it's actually really warm and I got this at the thrift store. Apparently paid like $3 for it to be honest. Another jacket that I really like, um, I'm not too sure what you call these jackets but you can actually find similar ones at the thrift store and it's kind of like a moto jacket but it is a like fur kind of thing um i don't remember where i got this one but i like this one because it gives 70 vibes and if you like that then this is perfect so i got this a few years ago and when i seen it i literally screamed inside i love it it's just perfect and i love the contrast of the fur and the black and i like how it has the little fur all over the trim so if you see one of these definitely get the and then uh, also wanted to mention this one because this was also on my most recent haul and I was actually on the hunt for it is a leopard coat. Now I really like this one. It's fur. Any leopard or fur coat would be really good just because I feel like it helps glam it up and stuff and sometimes it is a little cold and a leather jacket and stuff won't do. So I really like this one and this one was hauled recently as well. Looks like this. So if you guys seen my haul, you'll see me saying that I've been looking for one of these forever. So now that I've had it for a couple weeks, I've been using it like crazy. It goes with everything. I love how it ties it together and I just love it. It's 70s vibe, like super hardcore and I just really love it. So if you see one of these, just get it. Honestly, you'll wear it a lot. I promise. Is this one here? Now, the reason I included this one is actually a guy's one, and I just bought it. That's what it has to tag. This one is in a size two extra small, and I forgot this is kind of like a windbreaker one. What I like about this one is this one is cute because it's kind of tomboyish or a little boyish, and I really like that look. It's I feel like if you're like going for like a street style or something, this would be a really good option. You can also put patches all over this one, and I just think it's perfect, and I can't. Just got it and I've been wearing it a lot. So I actually got this from a guy's t-shirt place. It was really cheap and it's just a solid and they carry different colors. But what I like about this one is that I like to wear sneakers sometimes like Vans or something and go a little bit more of like a skater look. And this is a really good option for that. So I love these. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now let me know any suggestions or more videos that you like to that you like to see me do. I'm gonna try my hardest to do more fashion videos as opposed to makeup ones, just because makeup ones there's so many, and I just really like fashion and I want to get back into it this year. So yeah, let me know if any suggestions you guys have. Also, um, if you like the try on little portions and stuff. So yeah. And I'm trying to do like more of a voiceover so you don't have to see my face the entire time. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, uh, you can put them down below. Also, I'm going to be opening, I have a Depop shop, but I'm going to be adding some items on there. So I'll put the link to that as well in the bottom. Um, and my Instagram name is The Fashion Mess. So if you guys want to follow really me quickly, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. Because when I first started YouTube, I think I this is the kind of videos that I would make. I would just make videos about what I was wearing. So first off, this fire choker. I actually made this one. So I just made it out of an old choker. And then the shirt um, I got, I actually pressed it. So it just says hotter than hell. It's a Brandy Melville inspired one. I'm also wearing velvet black pants. These are from Forever 21. They were $14.50, I think. They're really cute and comfortable. And right now I just have Doc Martens on. But I'm probably going to switch to um, heels. And then I just have regular eyeliner. Um, I'm using the Kat Von D Shea Light eye palette 
Kevondi foundation and then on my lips is a brown lip liner by Italia and it's Max Burnt Spice Retro Matte Lipstick. It's actually been my go-to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!